In this video, I'm going to teach you about the most important thing you need to know about sports psychology to take advantage of its power for your optimal performance. Sports psychology, the science that deals with mental processes and behavior in sports. I got a better definition. It's the quality of your performance, which is what you care about, it's determined by the quality of the communication you have with yourself. How do you accomplish communication with yourself? Well, there's tons of stuff on this sports psychology and mental toughness. Do you need to get into it all and figure out all those details? Of course not, I've done the work for you. I've read all the books. I've had 1,500 clients in person to date, tens of thousands online. And I'm gonna give you a framework that's all you really need to know from all of that. First, let's get a meaning for the word mind. Because most people think the mind is the brain. This is not true. Most scientists include the entire nervous system in the functions of the mind, right? And they're also figuring out that the whole body is part of the mind. And from my experiences and, and, and studies, I, I totally agree. All right, and then the next concept you need to know is the duality of your mind. That there are two, there's like two minds we have. The conscious and the unconscious or subconscious. Now the conscious mind, it has the functions of look, listen, learn, understand, analyze, criticize, reason, reject, judge. It's the part that makes all the decisions and choices. It has the responsibility. Right now, you're using this right now to determine things and make choices. That's the bottom line. Your unconscious mind, on the other hand, is irrational, makes no decisions. It only acts on what it is programmed to do, just like a computer operating system. And its main functions are to run and preserve your body. It does that through storing memories, programs and values, regulating your emotions, your energy, maintaining all of your um, bodily functions and all the automatic things that you never have to think about that happen for you. Now, once you understand those differences, you can begin the work of dealing with your issues and installing new beliefs into that operating system by deciding first with the conscious mind. That's what's going to get you to your goals. And most people have no idea what I'm talking about here. They just go through life. How come I can't change things? Why am I like this? Why do I always feel like this? And they just keep repeating the same patterns over and over and over. You're done with that. Because <laughs> most of the stuff, it resides at the inner level, the unconscious or subconscious level of the mind. And that's where you need to go. And sometimes it's a simple little thing that allows you to get there. It could just be the right thing a coach or a parent says. It clicks. You shift. You have a different way of looking at events and situations, and you feel differently during those times. Now, I do this purposely. I've identified mental drills and skills from all the successful athletes and plus my experiences with athletes I work with. Tools that you can learn, apply, and get to that inner mind. When we work together, we do it with you in mind, tailored. Now, I got tons of patterns you can pick and choose without having to work with me in person. I got the programs. I use tons of basic sports psychology principles in addition to my own discoveries. But understanding those basics I just gave you, that you got a conscious and unconscious, you got to do the work at the unconscious mind as well. Understanding those basics, it's kind of like getting into a car for the first time and somebody teaching you about the pedals and the steering wheel in a car so that you can drive it instead of being driven in the back seat. <laughs> That's how you can get your goals. Get in the front seat. Let's do this. Subscribe to my channel below. I'm Craig Sigel, the Mental Toughness Trainer.